Hey guys, Dylan from Noble Records coming at you with another video. So, past 24 hours has been crazy. I've been hunting down some records, I've been following up on some leads, and these two just kind of fell within like the 12, the same 12 hour span. I went out last night at 11 o'clock on a dig. At last, I didn't get home until 3 a.m. Um, and then went out first thing this morning and went on another dig, and I've just been slammed. But I'm gonna take you through the both digs that I went on. Um, there's there's punk seven inches, there's psych, there's prog, there's soul, there's funk, there's band t-shirts, there's promotional items, there's all sorts of crazy stuff in this video. I'm gonna try to fit it all in one video. The important thing to remember is this is all going out on Friday, Black Friday, day after Thanksgiving, record store day. Uh, we don't do the record store day releases, so we try to put out a bunch of really killer stuff on that day. So I'm working tirelessly to get a bunch of crazy good stuff. Now, so this is not all that's gonna be there. There's gonna be a lot of really good stuff there. I've been pulling stuff, setting stuff aside out of my personal stash for a while. So, if you're local, you're gonna wanna be here on Friday. If you see some of this video that you like and you're not local, just know I give my locals first dibs. I'm gonna do my best to go through and show you a little bit of everything that I found and that everything that's gonna be going out on Black Friday. There's a lot more stuff that's going out on Black Friday and probably Saturday as well. So the best way to stay in touch and to see what's going to be going in the shop is to follow us on Instagram. We post Instagram stories and posts on a lot of stuff that's going to be going in. A lot more detail than the videos I show here. So follow us on Instagram and keep in touch. Tonight I am following up on a lead. Uh, it's a friend of mine that I've been buying records from uh, here and there for a long time. He's got a lot of records. Um, he, he usually likes to do things kind of late. And uh, so I am out here late it's about 11 o'clock i'm headed out that way i'm gassing up right now and he usually has a lot of really good stuff so um it's type of thing i uh, can't he usually won't let me come during the day so i usually i have to come at night late night digging a private collection some pretty good stuff in here I'm just gonna take you through some of the like top, top stuff. And then I flip through some of the, you know, more basic stuff. Uh, this is a really, really cool one. This is uh, working with the Miles Davis Quintet. And this is the first pressing and it's very, very clean. Um, it's, the, it's an audition copy, but vinyl is super clean on this. This is a very top, it's a top copy. It's very nice. Um, the other really amazing jazz one is this uh, Jazz Messengers. Uh, the Cafe Bohemia. Uh, this is a first pressing, very, very, very nice, clean first mono press of this amazing jazz record. This is tip top tier jazz stuff. This is great. <clears throat> this is Black Sabbath, first US press. What's so special, you say? It's a white label promo. It's a very clean white label promo of uh, Black Sabbath's first album. And I actually already had one of these, so I didn't have to um, worry about keeping it. Uh, next one is Pink Floyd Live at Pompeii. Incredible. I already have this as well. Um, this is a heavy hitter. Uh, this is the Rolling Stones Sticky Finger Spanish Press. Uh, very, very rare cover. This is one a lot of people look for. It's an original. Um, that'll be going up. It's very clean in the shrink seeds. Uh, this is a phenomenal garage record. Uh, Imagine John Lennon, original master recording. Um, got Derek and the Dominoes, original master recording as well. Very nice. This is a um, very early, if not first, UK uh, metal. Amazing. Super, super clean. Um, Quadaphonic Press, still in the shrink, uh, near mint. Uh, very early dust. This is seminal hard rock, amazing stuff. Amazing, I never see them. That's one you gotta have. Another one I get asked for all the time, uh, Booker GMG's Green Onions, incredible stuff. Uh, There's a UK pressing of Monk. Very, very, very cool uh, pressing of this. It's, it's, it's super clean as well. Uh, Depeche Mode, Violator, original US press. This is a Chilean Rolling Stones, Let It Bleed. Very cool, it's a, like a flimsy cover. Um, the label's really cool on it too, it's a green label. Um, 
but from Chile. These are really nice uh, cream Disraeli gears on reaction. In the UK, they were on reaction. Yeah, they're both stereo pressings, but um, this is a, a little bit earlier one. Look at how vibrant that sleeve is. Very nice. Uh, Ronnie Lane. This is a killer record. I've been looking for this for a long time. The funny thing is, I found one last night. I found another one today. I, I've been looking for one for a long time. And I just found it's really weird. Um, these I looked for forever. Taste. Uh, Rory Gallagher. Just amazing blues rock band. Another one. Taste. Always looking for those. Lee Stevens. This is a really good uh, guitar record, psych record. This one. Seriously, Haystacks Balboa is what it's called. Incredible hard rock album. I absolutely love this record. It's it's fantastic. Police is a super disc. Um, so this is a Talking Heads bootleg. And then really clean Blue Valentine, Tom Waits. Now, um, I'm going to take you through, uh, just do like a flip video of the rest of the stuff. Then after that... I'm going to show you the stuff I found when I went back to the attic. So Hendrix, Family, Mad River. It's a really cool uh, Skinner promo. This is an amazing guitar player, Paul Kossoff. Echo and the Bunny Men. This is a great psych record. mode pebbles comp spirits it's a Beatles Alpha Omega box set tis the season Early my generation. Awesome street survivors with the flames. Shotgun Willie. Another one out to the shrink. Chameleon Church. All right, so the second place I went, like I said, I mentioned this about a month ago, I found the spot. Really nice guy, he's got this incredible record collection, and I've already gotten a lot from him, but um, last time I was there, I was in a hurry, like I'd spent all my time looking at the LPs, and I went to go look at the seven inches, and he was like, yeah, I'm, we know we need to wrap this up pretty soon, so I only had like 20 minutes to look through the seven inches, and there were like 3,000 of them. So I just zipped through, picked out just the, like, I didn't even look at all the boxes. I wasn't even able to. So I just picked out some of the main ones I knew I'd want and grabbed them and went. So I knew I left a lot of meat on the bones there. It's been haunting me. Been dying to get back and check that stuff out. So got a lot of really, really, really good ones that I don't even know how I missed the first time around. First, I'm going to show you uh, some of the 12 inch stuff. There's some decent stuff in here. Basically, I found um, another couple boxes in there that I hadn't seen before of LPs, so I picked out a bunch of cool stuff out of that. Here are the Sonic, this is the 84 uh, Press. That's a, it's, this is an amazing record, but it's an 84 reissue of that. 
uh, the move this is actually still sealed um, this is really cool it's pretty rare it's called Mona Lisa it's a van it's got like a whole press kit and everything inside of it very very uh, cool record it's like a power pop um, album this is uh, Roxy music food better than food this is a Roxy Music bootleg, a lot of live, I mean, it's all, all live stuff, but BBC, Rainbow Theater, stuff like that. Um, pretty cool. And I got some, uh, it was hard for me not to keep this stuff, guys. This is um, close to my heart. This is a uh, Yardbirds Gold Megs uh, bootleg, still in the shrink. This one's more Gold Megs, still in the shrink. Whew, really cool stuff. Um, the Trogs. This is a really cool uh, Winter Wonderland. It's just got some cool like 80s Christmas music on it. It's on colored vinyl. It's like green and red vinyl. Um, this one's kind of rare. Even though it's on Rhino, this is uh, the best of the Midnighters. Um, I actually got a, a Midnighters record for myself that I'm not going to talk about right now. But um, this one I'm tempted to keep, This, but I won't. This is a uh, Ramones at your birthday party. This is a 2LP um, bootleg. Very cool. Um, History of the Left Bank. Uh, this is Jake Holmes. The Yardbirds. Um, Afternoon Tea. Picture Disc. Some Wilson Pickett stuff. Amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, this is one of my favorite psych, like early psych records. It's Tomorrow. Um, and this is like a 77, I believe, reissue, U.S. repress, but it's still... You know, kind of tough to find with Keith, Keith West. Really good early. It's psychedelic pops, what it is. But it's right along the lines of uh, Zombies, Odyssey, and Oracle. Fantastic record. Some Banshee stuff. That was still in the shrink. Very nice copy. Tender box. Um, this is really good psych record. Have some tea with the tea company. Amazing. I love that record. It took me forever to find it. Um, it's a sweet Thursday. It's a pretty cool record. Um, ABBA Arrival. It's a super disc. Ooh, and then we got some really cool Devo bootlegs. Um, and then, like, just some regular stuff. Dental Diet, Almond Brothers Bands, Dire Straits, Tangerine Dream. So, got, I mean, anything I see that I, I think I need in the shop, I'll pick up. Um, and so I'm going to show you now, uh, the seven inch stuff. So I'm just going to take you through and just kind of show you some of the like just cool ones I randomly picked out. And then I'll, I'll do a little bit of a flip video, but there's a lot of seven inch stuff. Now I don't want to over promise here i'm gonna get as much of this stuff priced before friday as i can um but i, I am running out low on, on seven inch sleeves so i may not be able to uh do that um, but the ones i'm showing you i will have priced i just don't want to show you everything but i'll kind of show you just the girth of all the stuff i got um, but everything you see i will have available um this is amazing this is the uh it's a promo uh, thirsty and miserable black flag. Uh, it says special gift. Um, and this is recorded live at Target, San Francisco. I doubt that's the same Target that, you know, your mom shops at. But um, very rare promo. And I saw this about poop myself. And then I saw that there was another one. <laughs> so I got two of those. Um, the Smiths, how soon is now? Uh, we got some Clash, very cool stuff. Joy Division, Level Terrace Apart. This is a really cool Hard Rock uh, Steam Hammer. This is uh, Soft Boys, Love Poisoning. Got a couple of the Homosexuals, um, Soft South Africans, and Hearts in, Deci and, and, and Exile. Speedies, uh, this is a Weirdos. This is a Pointed Sticks, uh, New Order, perfect. This is a Velvet Underground kind of bootleg um, thing. Got a bunch of um, undertones stuff, a ton of undertone stuff. And then like Saints, stuff like that. But um, it's like, it's, it's really almost 
too much to uh, name. I've got so much stuff. So I'm going to take you through and just do like a little flip video of the 45 just so you can kind of get a taste of what we're looking at. But uh, I spent hours hunched over in this attic looking at 45. So I pulled out some pretty good stuff for you guys. So this is the all the 45s I got. Spent a lot of money on 45s. Um, I'll just kind of take you through some of them just so you get an idea. Um, just random stuff, some Devo stuff that's really cool. It's an Easy Beats EP. Nice. Some Flame and Groovy stuff. It's an Adverts. Stiff Baiters. Just the Roots. Hoax, Beatles Costello, and a punk rock Christmas. <laughs> the boys, more of the boys. Uh, this is a cure, I believe, yeah. The cure, specials, stones, uh, Jesus and Mary Chain. Just gonna turn backwards and scruffs. It's, I mean, it's all over the place. It's a bunch of stuff like that. Um, there's a bunch of stuff in between, too, like slaying things, status quo, stuff like that. So, um, it's kind of all over the place, but that's just to kind of give you an idea of what's some stuff there. All right, last but not least, I want to show you the cool shirts I got. Now, this one right here, this is a piece of history. This is the coolest shirt I've ever found, by far. This is an original. He said it was a uh, late 70s. I say he said it was 77, but he said he bought it back, um, you know, when their record came out. This is very nice. He said he never wore it. I mean, you can see the tag. Uh, but it is so, like, the, the ink that they use on it is so thick, but... It's very, very, very clean. Like, like he said, he never, ever wore it. Original Sex Pistols. Um, how cool is that? When I saw that, I was like... Um, so that one, I'm actually going to keep an eye out. I'm going to be putting it on eBay. I don't ever put anything on eBay. But this is the kind of stuff that I doubt I'm going to be able to sell in the shop. And um, so a lot of the stuff, I don't really know what it's worth. I'm not a shirt guy. I'm a record guy. So on eBay... You get what it goes for. So, I'm going to show you some more. They, there's some of the really cool ones. That one's definitely the coolest thing. Uh, this is Elton John Tour 1974. Uh, that was a really cool shirt. He said he didn't wear this. or 73. Uh, he said he didn't wear this one either. So, that one's really cool. Um, this is it seems like kind of an iron-on. But it's a Stones 75 Tour shirt. Very cool. Um... This one is really neat. It is, this one might actually fit me. The other ones are smalls. This is a Neil Young 84, 85 tour, the International Harvesters, Neil Young and the International Harvesters. That's a, that's a cool one. And then this one's really cool too. It's like a baseball jersey. Uh, this is a status quo, uh, 1984 tour. Very, the last one is very interesting. So this is a, It's a Devo hazmat suit. I don't know if this is, I don't know what this is worth. I don't know if it's worth anything, but it's very, very cool. So it's a Devo hazmat suit. He said it was like a promotional thing. Um, so that's pretty cool. It comes with the pants and everything. So that'll be going up on, on eBay as well. Like I said, I don't put records on eBay. I don't have to put anything on eBay, but those are the things I've spoken to some experts and they said eBay is the way to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's been a crazy couple days. As you can tell, I'm, I'm exhausted. Uh, just haven't got much sleep, just been digging like crazy. But if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and check us out on Instagram. Uh, we're always posting updates and stuff. And uh, honestly, if you wanna get a closer look at this stuff, Instagram's gonna be your best bet. Just keep an eye on Instagram stuff because that's when we post uh, like more detailed stuff we're gonna be putting in the shop. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.